I want to go over a case study from a vetted member. Um, I'm not going to pronounce his name because I don't want to butcher it, but um, this guy right here sent me this case study, which essentially shows that, let me just minimize my face really quickly, um, this side right here, which in March was with essentially zero organic keyword rankings, as of today, or as of last month, has uh, about around uh, 614 organic keyword rankings. So I want to go over what they did and how they achieved these results. By the way, uh, this, if you want to use this, try this out. Uh, this tool is free. You can access it on vetted.com forward slash campaigns. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Uh, but essentially, it's a free tool that replaces Ahrefs, uh, Moz, any other tool that you use to track your rankings, see organic keyword, re uh, organic keyword rankings, top keywords, backlinks, if you want to see all your backlinks, uh, top pages, if you want to track your competitors. And you're going to add more stuff, but... Um, Again, it's totally free. You can test it out for free. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, but let's get straight into it. Um, let's get straight into this audit. Right, so first of all, uh, let's talk about the niche. The niche was uh, technology, okay? It was a technology blog. Uh, so it is quite a competitive niche. Uh, inside technology, of course, you can create sub niches. So it can and it cannot be, it can or not be competitive uh, dependent on the niche or the sub niche you target. For example, if you target smartphones or computers, can be quite competitive, uh, but this one was, I'd say, lower to medium, medium competition, sorry. But as you know, or as you might know, uh, keywords in the tech space are always, uh, or tend to be very valuable, right? So for example, if you take a look here, um, for example, this page, uh, this keyword, sorry, I guess, you know, I have to I have to blur all this, uh, that has a volume of 510 uh, searches per month. They're ranking number two, or number one, so, yeah, number two, sorry. And they're getting around uh, 44 uh, clicks. Right, so just keep in mind that when you're looking at this case study, you cannot compare this, for example, to a, a site in another, another niche, right? Because a click here might be worth, I don't know, $10, while a click in another niche might be worth $1, right? So we cannot really compare case studies, and I just wanted to uh, leave that out there because I think it's important. All the results, all the results are clear, right? Within uh, this time frame, uh, they achieved all this growth and um, as you can see here, they don't have that many backlinks and even less referring domains, of course. It's quite interesting looking at this here because the ratio from referring domains to backlinks, it's quite low. Usually it's much higher, uh, which is interesting what they're doing, they are doing here. Uh, it's quite uh, quite interesting. This means essentially that the links that they built are powerful enough that they don't, they don't need to build a lot of links from the same site. And DDA, Domain Authority 8, this is again a proof that um, you cannot just focus solely on metrics, right? Because Metrics are a good indicator of how things work, but uh, you shouldn't blindly focus on them because you can see here a site with a DA of 8 has multiple keywords in the top, uh, in the first page, right? So just keep that in mind when you're looking at metrics, don't overanalyze them. Um, so yeah, let's go over exactly this strategy and how, how they did it, okay? I broke this down into uh, four parts right here. The content optimization, technical optimizations, the branding activation, and finally the link building, okay? I joined these two because I think it's easier uh, so let's get uh, straight into it. Uh, before that though, um, of course, he did a site audit. Um, it's this service right here, if you're ever interested. Again, I'll, I'll leave all this in the description. It's this one right here. Of course, as an SEO expert would, they always need to audit the site, right? Because you're not just gonna start working on a site without knowing uh, what you're gonna do. Sorry, what you're gonna do, right? You need to audit it and see the things that you need to implement to fix the issues that you found, okay? And after the audit, what they found was that uh, they needed a lot of stuff. And the first one is uh, in regard to content optimization, okay? So there was no new content created, there was only content optimized, okay? And um, these are somewhat basic and you might already be doing all this, but uh, you might not, right? So it's always interesting to look at this and look at what these small things can do uh, for a site, right? So uh, first things first is on the blog post, they started to include their target keyword in the title plus a modifier. A modifier can be a year date guide. For example, let's say your uh, keyword is um, gaming PC. You'd include uh, in the title, you'd say um, best gaming PCs for 2023, right? And 2023 would be the modifier uh, for the year, okay? Guide, you can even put a holiday like Christmas uh, for men, for women, for whatever, right? That's, that's a modifier. 
then of course including the keyword in the URL and these two will make your page more relevant, right? Having the keyword in the URL and having the keyword in the title of the article make it so that page and the article is more relevant for the user search. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then including your keyword in the first uh, paragraph essentially of the content. This is good for SEO purposes but also for uh, user experience, right? Because essentially what they're saying here is not just to include your keyword just because in the top of the article, right? It's to talk about what you want to rank for in the first half of the article because you don't, don't want to cause a bad user experience which essentially stems down from people clicking on an article and then having to scroll down to find what they're looking for. You want to give them what they want up front, right? You want to, you want to play these games that, uh, sorry, you don't want to play these games that make it so people have to spend, on, spend a lot of time on your site like you're try, as you're trying to increase the dwell time. That's not really a, a good practice. So I like it that they did this here. Then they restructured all the articles. So the structure now was uh, intro, heading, <coughs> excuse me, then the causes, solutions, possible solutions, and FAQ, conclusion, and relevant guides. And this is a great opportunity to include um, interlinking, which, wa which will be what I'll talk about next. Uh, actually, before that, um, this is more of a technical optimization, but uh, fixing canonical tags to avoid uh, duplicate duplicates, uh, that's set up the categories, defining indexing of pages. This is a bit more technical and I won't go over in too deep into what this is. Again, if you need help with that, you can um, purchase this audit right here. It's quite uh, affordable or you can message him if you want, <clears throat> excuse me, um, any more info on, on this. Now then, uh, setting up content clusters. Uh, this is quite interesting and this is something that uh, Bart uh, talks a lot about and has a service on it as well. Um, and if you have any questions about this, you can, of course, schedule a consulting call with him or uh, invest in his service right here. Uh, but it is essentially what he has uh, in a schematic right here. Essentially, is it's creating a hub for all your content. And as I'm say, I say here, it's essentially the process of creating different articles on the same topics and then interlink all of them together, right? In sort of, a, not a link wheel, but with a proper interlinking strategy. Again, if you, need more, uh, if you want to go more in depth about that, I'll suggest uh, setting up a consulting call with Bart. I do think he has them available yeah, right here. You can schedule time with him, uh, pick his brain. And yeah, that's if you want to know a bit more about uh, uh, clusters. <clears throat> and then finally, of course, interlinking. This is very important. Interlinking as well as outbound linking are two very important things, both again for user experience and for search engines. Again, they set up an interlinking strategy uh, for the main art from their main articles to the informational ones. Um, it's quite important to, to take a look at this. And again, I guess it's a great time to show you uh, something that I have right here, which is this plugin. Again, it's totally, totally free, sorry. And you can check as well, <clears throat> sorry, the links that are internal and external. So you can check the inner links of a certain page and the outbound links of a certain page. So you don't want to have zero here. So if you want to check them, um, check for interlinking. If you're a more technical SEO, you can use this tool for that uh, just with a click of a button, click here. And yeah, you essentially can check it. There's no need to log in into any uh, other SEO software, just install this for free. I'll leave a link in the description and you can see all that plus a bunch more stuff um, if you wish. Okay, uh, moving on. After all this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it was time to uh, activate the brand, right? Because the site was very new, right? So we needed to let Google know who they were and what they were doing. Essentially, put our brand out there and how you do this is, of course, you set up a bunch of social media properties, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Crunchbase, all this, right? Uh, but the nuance here is that, as they're shown here, they have to be properly optimized and consistent, right? You, of course, want to make sure that your name or your business name is consistent across all these, right? Uh, add the link wherever you can add it, right? Make sure you add a description that's, of course, relevant to what you're doing. Make sure that these are consistent all across the internet because we don't want to, of course, uh, confuse Google. And he also offers this service right here very affordable. Uh, I think the most uh, expensive package a set up, sets up 250 fully branded SEO, uh, sorry, social media platforms, like the ones he showed here, fully optimized, banner name, links, interlinking, all that uh, done for you. So that was what they did next, right? Let Google know that, listen, we're this brand, we're here to stay, this is what we do, and these are our social media, and this is where we get our social proof from, okay? After that, they leverage Q&A sites. And this is something that I really like to do as well for my clients, <coughs> <coughs> which is essentially going to Q&A sites like Quora and uh, looking for relevant uh, questions, and then going there and give a detailed answer about whatever they're asking in your niche, of course, 
relevant and link out to your site, right? And this is very powerful because you get to build trust and again, social proof in your niche uh, because you're going to these uh, kind of like forum sites and inside those forum sites or Q&A sites, you're helping people with the questions they have about your niche and linking out to your site and you can become an authority in the niche very quickly with that. And uh, I'll do a case study on a brand that did this, exactly this, as their main growth uh, growth strategy and it worked out worked out amazing. So the only focus that they did was, was this. And it's pretty interesting how, how they grew. So this is a, definitely a strategy that you that you um, should try out. That's, let's just leave it at that. And uh, I do offer uh, that service. I might as well plug it as well. If you're interested in testing it out, you know, you don't want to push anything towards you. But I do offer exactly that service. Essentially, take uh, old aged accounts like the ones you see here uh, that are uh, notorious on, on Quora, and you can get essentially uh, all these targeted views uh, to your site. So this works, and I, I, it's really interesting that see, to see that uh, they did this in their strategy and that le led them to these results. So it's quite interesting. And finally, lastly, uh, link building. Um, of course, we couldn't do an SEO strategy without link building. Uh, after two months, they built a branded guest post from links uh, from the most relevant sites they could find with, of course, like I said, branded or brand, branded plus long tail or generic. That's the click here, learn more, find out more anchors. And it's important to note that the, they got links from the rel most relevant websites they could find, right? And of course, they're powerful and powerful plus relevancy equals rankings. And um, just note, of course, even though the metrics are high and we associate powerful metrics with powerful sites. Like I said before, uh, metrics don't always tell the full story. So it's important not to rely solely on metrics. Okay. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And that's essentially it. That's essentially how they were able to attain these results. Okay. So if you want similar results, I'll message, um, message him. Again, I'll, I'll close here the tab. Not sure why <clears throat> I'll, I'll find it in just a second. So, if you want similar results, I would for sure message him because he sent me this, this case study and I, I look at this and I think, okay, this is video worthy because they went from essentially zero to 600 plus or plus, sorry, organic keyword rankings in the top 50 search results in not that long uh, of, a, of an amount of time. And only not when I say only, it's not uh, being uh, derogatory, but only doing all this, uh, this, right? Which isn't that much, right? Their link building strategy wasn't that aggressive. So it just goes to show that with simple technical optimizations and uh, optimizing the content and more uh, in-depth optimizations, sometimes you can achieve uh, great results. So yeah, that's essentially it. Hopefully you like these uh, sorts of videos. I'll keep pumping out these um, uh, case study types videos because um, yeah, the goal with this is for me to learn and to share my learnings with you and hopefully you can pick some gold nuggets and some strategies from these views and apply them to your own sites and, or to your own clients and see how it goes. And yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. And uh, of course, I got to plug Vetted as always. Um, Vetted.com with 3T is the best place to hire pre-vetted SEO experts. Uh, we got people like Bradley, Liam, Tony Peacock. If you're into the SEO world, I'm sure you know some of these people. Uh, Bart, Michael, and uh, most recently we dropped this uh, free software. Again, you can essentially analyze any any site of yours, uh, look at the competition here. We can see here, for example, that there's a competitor that's catching them up, which is quite interesting. They're, they're, the guys are this one right here. This is a competitor, which is quite interesting because then we can evaluate and put in the competitor URL on here onto this software and evaluate what they're doing, right? We can target their keywords, we can target their uh, keywords, we can target their, uh, we can essentially evaluate the competition with, with this software for free and uh, try and create a strategy to hopefully make us go up and they go down. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it again. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like subscribe. Thank you for, uh, subscribing. We're at 1500 subscribers. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.